In this video we're going to add an MGCP gateway to our call manager. Uh, we're going to add an MGCP gateway using uh, analog ports only and then we'll verify it and make sure that it's working. So here I am at UCM uh, administration, CM administration and I'm going to click add and gateway. Um, just to make sure I don't have a gateway configured, uh, I'll click Find, and there's nothing that comes up, so we'll add new. Uh, select the gateway type. Uh, in this lab, I'm using Cisco 2811s, but you see there's lots of different options here. So we'll select Cisco 2811 and Next. Then the protocol, obviously, is MGCP. And then we have to fill in information about our gateway. Uh, the very first field that you have to fill in, which is a required field, is the domain name. And this is really, really important because it has to match. Uh, earlier, you should have removed any kind of DNS uh, requirements from your call manager. And the, the reason we did that again was just to speed things up and to not rely on uh, a DNS um, for finding a phone or finding a device. Um, so the dom we're not using domain names, but we still have to fill this thing in. On the router, there is no domain name. Show IP domain name and you see there's nothing there. So the correct way to fill this in in the call manager is to enter the router's host name, which we see there. Now it'll copy that down in the description. I'm going to change that just to say pod 11 router. Um, and then select the call manager group, which is my custom pod 11 call manager, uh, call manager group. So the next thing we got to do is tell the router or tell call manager about the router's content, what's in modules, uh, what modules are in slot 0 and slot 1. Slot 0, in this case it's a 2811, is going to have the NM4VWIC motherboard. Slot 1 would have any of the network module, um, high density voice uh, network modules that might be populating, that might be available for the 2011. Uh, of course this is only voice interfaces. Now, if you're not familiar with the 2811, uh, here's the uh, chassis installation guide, just a snapshot from it. This is the back side of the uh, 2011. Here you see the interfaces where they'd be populated. This general area here that I'm circling with my mouse is slot 0, and this is slot 1. Slot 1, we get to put network modules in there. Slot 0 is subdivided into four subunits or subslots. Each one of these is numbered, you see here in very fine print, HWIC 0. HWIC 1, HWIC 2, and HWIC 3. And in these four HWIC slots is where our different uh, WIC, HWIC, or VIC cards can go. So back at the call manager, I'm going to tell it, yep, we got that NM4 VWIC, and that's all uh, because that's what's populated in my router right now. I'll click Save. And then it opens up and allows me to specify what voice cards are in the different subunits. In this case, I've got a VIC-2 FXS in subunit 1 and a VIC-2 FXO, 2 FXO in subunit 2. That's all I've got, so I'm going to save. And now we'll see the ports that are available come up. Um, and now I've got to configure the ports. So I'm only connected to 010 and 030. 010 is a POTS interface and I have to select its device pool. This is the FXS interface that I'm configuring. I don't have to configure anything else for the FXS port. I'll click Save. And then I have the option or I have the ability now to add the directory number. I'm going to set that up as 1000. Um, and it'll carry forward some stuff that I've configured previously, the description, the alerting name, etc. and so on. Nothing else I have to configure uh, on this screen to make this go. Obviously there's a million and one options, well maybe not a million, but there's a lot of options available. So I'm going to save that and then it's going to do the device association here with this um, MGCP interface or endpoint analog line slot 0, sub, sub slot 1, port 0 at pod 11 router. So I'm going to save that and apply the config and we've modified, set up that first endpoint. So I'll go back to uh, gateway again, go back into pod 11 router and now I'm going to configure the FXO. Now I configured the FXS first so I get an analog line up 
Now I'm configuring the FXO. We select first by telling it what type of port. It's a ground start port. I have to select the device pool. And unlike the FXS where that's all we had to do on the FXO, I've got to go down and specify the attendant DN number. Uh, that's important for inbound calls on an FXO line. Uh, you've got to basically take that that in, incoming ring and send it somewhere. So we've so I've specified there a telephone number that's going to receive all the calls directed to the line that that FXO port is connected to. So we've done that, saved it. I'll apply config, and now if I go back to the gateway again, pod 11, there he is. If I look at the endpoints, I'll have two endpoints: analog. Slot zero sub sub one port port zero, slot zero port uh, sub three port zero, and their MGCP FXS and FXO. They are unregistered, and the IP address is here that endpoint. So I haven't yet set up to uh, actually bring the router online. The good news is with MGCP, the router configuration is extremely simple. I'm going to go back to the router here. All I've got to do to the router, uh, let me make sure my term monitor is on because I'm telnetted. I've got two commands I've got to issue CCM manager, config server, and the IP address of the CCM, two, and CCM manager config. And at that point, uh, it's going to go and talk to the CCM and uh, download the configuration. We see there configuration by CCM is done. Now because I'm telling that there's a couple other messages that will pop up. Um, basically what happened was I told it, okay, you're going to go to this call manager and you're going to get your configuration. And the router went to the call manager says, hey, I'm pod 11 router, POD11RTR, uh, do you have a config for me? And he this call manager provided a config file uh, which is an XML file and then the router used that. So now on the router if I use the command um, show run and include MGCP you're going to see that quite a few commands have been added uh, to the router. This is stuff that I didn't type. It was added by the um, by the call manager in that uh, uh, XML file. So I'm going to go back over here now to the call manager and I'm going to refresh the screen. And you see that uh, there's no real change here. No real change on the gateway list. But if I go to endpoints, now you see the difference is it says registered with 192, 168, 108, 182, which is my call manager. Um, the gateway, I'll go ahead and bring it up like this. The gateway should should show an IP address, but for some reason it's not. So how do I verify this uh, on my router? Issue the command show CCM manager. Here's the show CCM manager output, and we see the primary is registered to that IP address. Current active call manager 192.168.108.182. We have the failover interval, the last keep alive, uh, downloads attempted and successful, et cetera, and so on. So the router says, hey, I've got a call manager there. If I use the command show MGCP endpoints, you see that the same endpoints that I have listed in call managers database show up on the router. Um, so that's all well and good. Can we make a phone call? Well, we can't make outgoing calls because we have not configured any routing, but incoming calls can be made because I set up that attendant number for the FXO line. So I'm going to take my exterior phone here and dial that FXO line's number 1080011. That's dialing and it's going to dial in to the attendant number that I set up, which was 1079. So after a couple of seconds here, we should hear 1079 start to ring. That wasn't it. There it is. Now it's calling. 
and I have a call now from uh, the outside from an unknown number because caller ID didn't transfer in. Um, what I can do here, I'm going to transfer this phone call now from my 1079. And now the external number and 1079 are connected. Now, MGCP is managing all of that. I didn't set up. I didn't set up a dial peer as a part of the configuration of the router. But you see, and my display is a little. Let me run that command again. You see that I have tag. 9990109990930 pots dial peers that are set up notice the destination pattern is not there if i go back into uh, call manager and look at the route plan report there's 1000 connected to this analog line controlled by mgcp so verifying uh, MGCP is pretty straightforward um, from the call manager's perspective. We just need to look at the gateway. We hope to see an IP address there. Uh, for some reason, it's not showing up. I can dig in and see the endpoints, which they are registered from the router, from the iOS gateway's perspective. Show CCM manager is one command I can use to see that the, the uh, router is actually registered. Another command I can use is show MGCP endpoint. Uh, to see the two endpoints and then lastly show uh, MGCP uh, statistics which shows me the uh, successful communication packets and creates and deletes etc and so on or just plain old show, M show MGCP which tells me its active state and call agent ID uh, etc and so on okay so that is configuring and verifying an MGCP gateway.